Hello, Faye Bryant here with another daily devotion. Today we're looking at Ephesians 4.2. That verse says, Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Let's talk. The Apostle Paul wrote these words to the believers at Ephesus, begging them to live a life worthy of their calling, reminding them that they had been called by God himself. Mind you, these words were written to those in an ongoing relationship with Jesus Christ, one of salvation and obedience to God. So believer, these words are meant for you. Always be humble and gentle. Always. In all cases. In all circumstances. In all locations. Every time. Be humble and gentle. There's no need to toot your own horn about how righteous you are. Let that show in how you live. Hmm? Live with self-control. Not letting rage or foolishness be your trademarks. Be patient with each other. Your spiritual siblings are no more perfect than you are. You are all striving to become more like Christ. And sometimes you falter, flop, and fail. Be patient. Just like with a child learning to walk, we must continually work with those who don't know to grow them to the place where they are living a life of mature faith. We don't let the little child just sit there and continue to crawl. We do what we can to help them get up and we coax them and we teach them. Same with believers, with fellow believers. Making allowance for each other's faults. That faltering, flopping, and failing we must not condemn those who have as though those things are fatal. They're not. In Christ, they are not. We must lift that one to their feet and begin again in building up their faith, teaching them obedience to the Father, even as we model that very thing. No, no. This does not mean overlooking the faults. Not at all. The most loving, most faith-filled discipleship gift we can give a person is the loving correction to help move them from sin to sanctity. Just like parents raising children to be responsible adults, believers should strive to raise disciples to be faithful, devoted, obedient followers of Jesus. Who helped you grow in your faith? Came alongside you and taught you about God and how to apply scripture to your life? Who have you taught? Who are you leading through the calling on your life from God himself? Coffee, Bible, journal. I do hope you're uh, learning more and more each day how to read the scriptures and apply them to your life, how to understand that those words are written for you individually, that they're meant to be taken into your heart and used in your life so that God can point to you as one who is doing what he called them to do. He calls you his masterpiece. He does. Ephesians 2.10. Anyway, if you'd like to catch these devotions as soon as they're out and about, be sure and click subscribe. And if you'd like to see some of the other videos I've done, pop over here. Be sure and leave some comments. Let me know what you're thinking, how you feel about what I've said. Answer the questions. Who taught you? Who helped raise you in your faith? For now, I'm Faye Bryant. Bye!